everyone, this is the Aki Smart LED Atmosphere Lamp, model LT-T6. It is eight and a quarter inches high, and it's four inches in diameter. It weighs about a pound and a half, and to give you a perspective on size, here is a soda can right next to it, so you can kind of gauge how big this thing is. It comes with the lamp and a plug-in cord. It is not battery operated, you have to keep it plugged in. And what this has, it's really cool, it's got a touch sensitive base, the silver part is touch sensitive, so in the middle of the night you're looking for a lamp, you don't have to stumble for a switch, you just touch the base, a short touch, it'll turn the white light on, touch it again, it increases the intensity of the, the brightness of the white light, touch it again, it's the brightest uh, intensity of the white light and you touch it again it'll turn off. So if you want a nice little quick reach lamp in your bedroom on your nightstand just touch the base and it'll come on the lowest brightness of the white light. It also has colors which is really cool. It's an LED lamp so if you long press it it'll start the color mode. It starts with red and it'll cycle through from red to yellow to green to blue and to purple and then it'll start cycling over again. Because of the way my camera is set up it's kind of reading a white whitish glow down here at the bottom. You really don't see that with the naked eye. It's completely solid blue when you look at it. It's just the way my camera is. So um, it's kind of looking a little bit different in the camera than it is in real life. So now it's getting to purple and that's the last color in the sequence and it's going to start over with red. You can't step through the colors, like if uh, you're red and you want to go to purple, you can't keep touching it to get to purple, you have to wait for it to cycle. But if you do like a color in between there, or purple or red, let's say we're going to like this uh, blue, this green color right here. You just short touch the lamp and it'll stay there. It'll stop the cycling process and you can just leave the lamp on. You can't change the brightness of the colored lights. You can change the brightness of the white light, but not the colored lights. So if you're in the color mode, you can't change the brightness. You can't make it dimmer or brighter. It's the same brightness no matter when you're on a color. And you want to cycle through again, you short press it, and then it goes to the next color. Now I'm just going to let it cycle through a little bit. That's the blue. It gets a really dark blue, a really deep purple, and we'll start with red again and cycle over again. And again, if you want to stop it at the color, this touch sensitive base, you just short touch it and it'll just stop there. It'll stop, stop the cycling process. To turn it off, you long press it and the light will turn off. There's a little indicator light here. It's blue and when you touch it, it lets you know that it's actually receiving the touch. So I'm going to turn to the white mode, so I'm going to do a short touch. It'll turn red, it'll let you know it's been touched and it'll start with the the, the, the stepping and the brightness again. And every time you touch it, it'll turn red just to show you that it's been touched. So I'm trying to show here, this is the full brightness of the white light, how much it illuminates a room. So now I'm going to lower it uh, one step and then lower it again another step to show you the, how dim it gets and how bright it gets. So this is full brightness. We touch the sensor pad one time, and it goes off. We're going to turn it on again. That's the lowest setting. That's brighter. And that's the brightest setting. So that's the three brightness settings of the white light. Again, we're going to do it off. We're going to do low, dim. That's the lowest setting. The next brightest setting in the brightest setting there. Now we're going to change it to the color mode. We long press it down, it's going to start with red, and it's going to cycle through the colors. You can't change the brightness on the different colors. You can short touch the base of it and it'll stop at a color, and you short touch it again, it'll move on and cycle through to the next color and continue going but there's no brightness setting. If you stop on like blue, 
You can't dim the blue or brighten the blue. It's just uh, blue. So we're just going to let it cycle through the different colors. It starts with red, and it goes all the way through purple, and eventually get back to red. So this is at the bottom of the lamp. It has some specifications on it. Again, model LT-T6. Um, 16 million colors in full color. Uh, the LED lights are supposed to last 35,000 hours. And the luminous flux is uh, 450 lumens or greater. I believe that's the way you read it. Again, it's plugged in. The plug just simply plugs into the, uh, here's the plug and the opening, just plug it in, plug it into the wall. So there you have it, the Aki LT-T6, dimmable, touch sensitive, colored LED lamp. It is made of plastic, it's not glass, but it seems to be very sturdy. Um, it, I tried to like just like knock it, like if you knocked it over in the, in the dark, you're reaching for it. It doesn't seem to knock over very easily at all. The, the base is heavier than the top, and it kind of makes it so it's uh, hard to tip over. Again, it's LED, so it's not, um, the, the lamp doesn't get hot. It illuminates really well. It's really easy to use. And again, if it's dark and you're fumbling, f trying to fumble for a light switch, you don't have to worry about this. All you have to do is touch the base to turn it on. I recommend this product. It seems to be well built. Gives off a lot of light. You can set the mood in your room with different colors. Or you can have a white light and make it dimmable. I hope you enjoyed this review. Like it if you do.